Look at that goat going out on a limb to get some leaves. <laughs> Isn't that funny? This goat is going out on a limb to, to nibble a few leaves. Have you ever nibbled on some leaves before? To nibble just means to kind of eat. We use that word especially for animals. If animals like a rabbit or a goat or something, if they if they eat some grass or some leaves or something like that, they just kind of nibble. It just means to take like small bites. So this goat is going out on a limb. Look at that. This goat is in a tree. Isn't that weird? You know, sometimes uh, I've seen pictures online of like a goat tree. I mean, what kind of tree is this? It's a tree that has fruit, the fruit of goats, right? You go to the tree and you pick a goat and you eat the goat off the tree. I didn't know goats grew on trees. Did you know that? So I guess this is somewhere in Africa where they have these like trees where the goats would go up in the tree. How does a goat climb a tree? I, I mean, I don't even know how they do that. That's crazy. But um, anyway, so look at all these goats that are on the limbs of the tree. They've gone out on a limb to get their leaves or whatever they're eating. I don't know what they're eating. Um, so do you know what the word limb means? Okay, the word limb uh, can mean a few things. Okay, it can mean tree branches. Okay, so look at this tree's limbs here, right? That's the this is the trunk, right? The the main part of the tree is the trunk, and then the branches are the limbs. Well, people also have limbs. It's the it's the arms and the legs of a person. So I have limbs. My arms are my limbs, and my legs are my limbs. You know, I'm very thankful for my limbs. You know, some people don't have some limbs some people are missing limbs you know if they got into a car accident or something like that or they you know got into a war or something like that and they lost their limbs right so i hope all your limbs will be safe today my friends don't lose your limbs okay so that's what limb means now to go out on a limb means to take a risk because oh i used the word because twice <laughs> isn't that dumb <laughs> Duh, you're such an idiot, Mark. <laughs> to, to take a risk because because you believe in something. Have you ever done this? Have you ever used two words, you know, back to back that are the same? Uh, I, I've, I've made this mistake before, I think, in my videos. To take a risk because you believe in something. Okay, so a risk because, I mean, you... you you believe in something so you kind of you take a risk and you put yourself in a little bit of a vulnerable position right i mean look at this squirrel this squirrel is going out on a limb for some reason we don't know why but maybe there's something over there that he believes in maybe he's i don't know he's trying to build a nest do squirrels live in nests they don't live they think they squirrels live in like the hollow of the tree they don't live in nests but for some reason the squirrel is going out there Right, so that's a risk because the branch could break, right? I mean, the squirrel's not very fat, but if he goes way out to the end, I mean, maybe the branch will break or, or may, he might fall off the branch. So it's a risk, right? He's taking a risk for some reason. Okay, so what is the risk that you might take if you go out on a limb? Well, you might risk facing criticism. You know, you might, you might risk your reputation. You might risk failure, right? So if you kind of if you if you go out on a limb, um, you're you're risking something. Now, like it could be you know anything, right? Like if you start a business, let's say you you want to start a business, you don't know how to start a business, and so you just go out on a limb, you take a chance, right? And you're risking that the business might fail. That happens, you know. I think most businesses fail. I can't remember what the statistics are. I think it's like 90% of new businesses fail. Isn't that, isn't that astonishing? 
like most most people, most entrepreneurs, right? An entrepreneur is a person like me who starts a business or who starts something, right? They kind of have an independent spirit and they're willing to they're willing to go out on a limb and take some risks in life. But that the problem is, I mean, you you could fail or you could get criticized or you could lose your reputation or something like that, right? So let's look at an example. Tina stepped out on a limb and voted for Trump, even though her whole family voted for Biden. Okay, so stepped, you could say stepped or go. You can use, you know, sometimes in, in English, idioms are a little bit flexible. Very often they're not flexible. Very often, I mean, the word, the idiom has to be said exactly word for word, but sometimes, sometimes there's a bit of flexibility there. Okay, so we could say Tina went out on a limb. So in that case, it would be the verb go, right? Go is the present tense and, and, and went is the past tense of go. Or you could say stepped. You know, Tina stepped out on a limb and, and voted for Trump, even though her whole family voted for Biden. Now, what is the risk here? What is her risk? Well, I mean, her whole family was supporting Biden. So what could happen? I mean, she could, she could face criticism. Um, she might lose her reputation in the family. Maybe her family would even stop talking to her. Say, okay, if you're going to vote for Trump, that's it. I'm not going to talk to you again. Get out of the family, something like that. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but you know, there's a risk, right? So she, she stepped out on a limb. She took a risk, right? I'm going to step out on a limb. Or I could say, I'm going to go out on a limb and predict that uh, they'll get married next year. And I'm going to predict that they'll get married next year. So imagine if, if you and me have some friends and I say, you know what? I think they're going to get married next year, right? So I'm I'm kind of taking a risk. I'm 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 saying something that that you know maybe if they don't get married next year, you might you might say, hey Mark, you're wrong about that. Remember, you predicted that they were going to get married next year, but you were wrong. And I would say, yeah, I was wrong. You know. So what's the risk? Well, it's just a small risk, right? It's just a risk of being wrong. Right. So, so, you know, when we use this idiom, I'm going to go out on a limb. It could be a big risk or it could just be a really small risk. Right. So we're not talking about the size of the risk. We're just talking about some, some risk is there. Right. So I could say I could, I'm going to go out on a limb and predict, you know, that um, the economy will crash next year. Something like that. Right. So um, that's the first idiom. Now, the second idiom I want to teach you is a very similar idiom. It has a very similar meaning, okay? And that is to stick your neck out. Have you ever heard that before? To stick your neck out. Okay, so look at this turtle here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a turtle or a tortoise. Okay, a, a tortoise is a land turtle. So tortoises live on the land, but turtles are water creatures, I guess. So that's, I don't know if this is a tortoise or a turtle, but I mean, look at its head. He's, he's poked his head out of his shell. He stuck his neck out. Now that's kind of a risk, a risky position to be in, right? The safe position would be if his head is tucked into his shell, because then, you know, animals can't really, can't really eat him, right? But if his neck, if he sticks his neck out, you know, maybe an animal could come and, you know, bite its head off or something like that, right? So it's it's very similar, okay? So what it means is it means to act boldly even though there might be consequences. Okay, to act boldly even though you might face consequences of some kind. I mean, let's say you're sitting in a business meeting, right? This is you here. Let's say, you know, you, you suddenly you have an idea, for your company, but you, you're not sure if you should say your idea. I mean, you believe in your idea, but you're kind of worried if other people will, will think your idea is stupid. So, you know, you might not stick your neck out, but if you feel brave, 
and you want to act boldly, you might stick your neck out and say, I have a really good idea and I, I think this is going to work. And then you tell your idea, right? And it's, it takes confidence to stick your neck out, right? Or maybe this is a classroom and that's your teacher and this is you here and you maybe you have a question and you're just kind of afraid that if you ask your question, other people will think it's a stupid question. Have you ever been in that situation? I've been in that situation so many times in my life at college, you know, where I'd be sitting in, a, in, a, in the classroom and I had a question and but I was just too afraid to ask it. And then someone else in the classroom asked exactly the same question. Have you ever been in that situation? So in most of my classroom experiences, other people have been more confident than me. Other people stick their neck out and ask the stupid questions. And everybody else wants to ask that question, but they're too afraid. <laughs> so they don't do it. So it takes, it takes courage to stick your neck out. Right? It means you're exposing yourself to, to possibly criticism or people thinking you're stupid or something like that, right? So he stuck his neck out and asked her out, even though she was out of his league. Okay, he stuck his neck out, right? He, he took a risk and asked her out. That means he, he asked her on a date or he asked her to be his girlfriend, right? Even though she was out of his league, out of his league means she was better. She's too good for him. She's in like a different class, like a higher class. You know, sometimes relationships, I don't know, sometimes people use this idiom out of, out of, out of her league or out of my league or out of your league, you know, um, to, to kind of to say that you're in a lower class right? Maybe she's too good looking. Maybe she's really good looking. Maybe she's a model. Uh, maybe he's just a, maybe he's just a, a low, you know, low down on the, on the, on the totem pole. <laughs> Have you heard that before? If someone is kind of a low, low on the totem pole. A totem pole is like, um, what is a totem pole? It's like a wooden structure that, um, that First Nations people here in Canada would kind of like worship. I think on my Canada trip, I I think we came across some totem poles and I, I taught you guys what totem poles were. So yeah, if someone's out of your league, you know, that just means they're they're too they're they're too good for you. But you know, it's worth a it's it's worth a try, right? You should just give it a shot. You know, she might say yes, right? So he asks her out, she might say yes, and hey, that's good news for him. He got a really good looking girl, even though he's just a simple guy, right? So guys, uh, that's it for today. Those are your two idioms um, to stick your neck out and, and go out on a limb. So I want to ask you uh, for your homework, okay? So let me know your answer down there in the comments. Tell me about a time when you stuck your neck out or went out on a limb, you know, what, what situation did you face in your life where you showed some courage and you took a risk? You went out on a limb or you stuck your neck out, right? So hopefully that helps you guys. Two idioms on, uh, on taking risks. So hopefully you can use these in your, your everyday English. These are very, you know, normal idioms. You'll hear them all the time in English. They're very, just, just, just very common idioms um, that you'll see in English. Okay, so um, yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are. As always, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care. Mm -hmm.